The 16-year-old Russian figure skater, Olympic champion, European champion and Russian champion and honored master of sports joined the star team of the Navka Show Ice Project this year. Since July 1, Tatyana Navka's company and Mercury Jewelry Company have been rebooting the Scarlet Flower Ice Show at Sachi Park theme park, promising to show it almost a hundred times by September 30. The Russian premiere of the Scarlet Flower took place in 2019 in Moscow. Having won the hearts of more than half a million viewers in different parts of the world, the show unites the best figure skaters in the arena, mixing styles, genres and awakening fireworks of spectator emotions. Highly appreciating the level of the ice performance, the young figure skating star answered U Magazine's questions about working in the project and personal plans for the future. What do you think determines the success of the show that everyone wants to watch? Oh, you're just asking like a real producer, it seems to me that there are a lot of components of a successful and popular show. First of all, this is an interesting story for many, wonderful music, costumes and scenery, talented and professional performers, the right advertising campaign. How do you think the ice show Scarlet Flower attracts viewers? The Scarlet Flower has all the components necessary for a successful show. This fairy tale, told by figure skaters are nice, creates for the audience a unique atmosphere of a real miracle, kindness, and justice. What does participation in the Scarlet Flower show mean for you personally? Participation in the show Scarlet Flower is my first experience of participating in a nice performance. I hope there will be other shows in my life, but Flower is the first love, and it's forever. How did you get into sports and where did you start? My mother brought me to the skating rink when I was three and a half years old. However, at first she called the rhythmic gymnastics section, but I was too small for the sport. It was easier to sign up for figure skating. My mother's promise was enough that I would try hard in training and not chew ice, laughs. However, after a year I was still sent to gymnastics, and in addition they enrolled me in a ballet school. After a while, other sections had to be abandoned for the sake of figure skating. I chose ice for two reasons. I really like the spins and my coach Ksenia Semyonovna Ivanova, who taught us new elements. It seems to me that it was Ksenia Semenovna who saw my abilities. What did figure skating teach you, and what did you remember about your first training sessions? I remember very well the very first training session at the rink. It became a real test. I was constantly falling, getting up, falling again, and by the evening I had a fever. Figure skating has taught me to be calm about falling and failures. It's just a part of sports life, and besides, failures make us grow and improve. Do you think the ability to win is a talent? Yes, I consider the ability to win a talent. You can have natural inclinations and great perseverance, but at the crucial moment you will not be able to use it all. Do you agree that the ability to win is as important as the ability to lose? And how do you overcome defeats? It's very nice to win, you feel absolutely happy at these moments. It's a shame to lose, but there are no ups without downs. Overcoming defeats is simple, I train hard and tell myself that I will definitely succeed. Do you have any signs, superstitions? How are your last minutes before going on the ice before an important performance? Before going on the ice at competitions, I usually listen to music, try not to watch the performances of my rivals, but focus on my program. Of course, I have signs, but I won't talk about them now. Maybe after finishing my career I will reveal my secrets. How did your friendship with Alina Zajatova begin and what does it mean to you? You were both born under the sign of Taurus, do you think you have common character traits? Of course, I know that we are both Taurus. I didn't think about the common character traits between Alina and me, it should be more visible from the outside. And about friendship is a strange question. Alina and I communicate well, but it seems to me that this cannot be called friendship. I respect Alina very much, she is a real example and idol in sports for me. How important is friendship for you in principle? Friendship is important for any person. It's hard to imagine your life without friends. Who is the closest person to you, with whom you are ready to share everything? The closest person is, of course, mom. I can and am ready to share everything with her. Mom is with me 24 hours a day, she helps me always and in everything. 
How do you recover after difficult competitions and performances? No secrets, massage, a walk in the fresh air, sleep, one cake with tea. What do you do to keep yourself in shape? It is necessary for an athlete to keep himself in shape. I try not so much to limit myself in food as to eat right. Do you have a favorite dessert? I really love ice cream. What makes you happy? A lot. Sometimes one tiny chocolate bar is enough. Sometimes winning a competition or passing a good exam makes me happy. I often feel happy when I succeed in complex elements in training. I can be happy from interesting meetings with friends, from beautiful music, from the thought that all my relatives are healthy, from a sunny day, but you never know what. How do you combine sports and study? Like everyone else, I study at school, but I can't go there often, so I study with tutors in my free time from training. Now it has become easier to combine lessons with training because you can study online anywhere in the world, even during competitions. On a 10-point scale, how perfectionist are you? I'm a healthy perfectionist. And period. What are your priorities now? Where are your forces and energy directed? All my strength and energy are focused on figure skating. I want many many more interesting and memorable programs, but I haven't been able to fully reveal myself yet. What are your plans? What would you like to be creatively realized in, besides figure skating? I want to be creatively realized first of all on the ice, this is my main business. And I always want to dance, in a variety of styles. Well, I love it. By the way, I've been asked a lot lately, if I want to become a movie actress. It's probably worth thinking about it. Why not? I like to try new things, and I'm open to suggestions.